Good morning. I am today with Dr. Corbeta, Dario Corbeta, the director of ASIMOL. Here we are talking about Xilexpo 2022. Dario, how are you doing? Fine, fine. Thank you. Good morning, Apratim. How are you? It's okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm good too. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Dario, I will start with my first question. Asimol has experienced significant sales in 2022, despite the challenges time. How did you achieve this? Yes, yes, it's not easy to explain. Anyway, as everybody remember, in March and April of the year uh, 2020, two years ago, we had a stop of the production activity due to the COVID pandemic. After that period that lasted a couple of months, the demand and the production uh, restarted and it were pushed by the incentives, tax incentives uh, in technology that more or less all the countries uh, applied. And uh, particularly strong was the growth of the Italian market. Uh, I can tell you that in 2021, last year, the domestic sales of Italian machines technology increased by 52% while import increased by almost 60%. And we estimate that the apparent consumption of working technology in Italy, machines and tools, is over 1 billion euro. That makes Italy itself one of the biggest market in the world for woodworking technology. Because this is also due to the, to the strong furniture sector we have in our country, of course, not only due to the incentives. Yes, and we forecast that uh, also this year it will be a good, a good year for technology consumption, also 2022. Yes, that's great. Uh, uh, we, are, we are very excited at Zilexpo is coming after four years. Tell us about how much excited are, uh, how much enthusiastic the exhibitors are. Uh, we have already have big clients already confirmed participation like SCM, Bachi from Italy and from like from Germany, Winey, Galtendorf have already confirmed their participation. Yes, you are right. You are already company are there, uh, but it is more than four years. The last show was in, in May, four years ago. Next one, it will be in, in autumn and uh, it will be an eternity, four and a half years. That for, for, for an exhibition is a very, very long time. And we had to start promoting the show as it was the new one for the first time on the market, because uh, as I told you before, four and a half years is a, is a long time. But we worked hard and the results came. Uh, the two pavilions we devoted to the show by the Fiermi Lanfer Ground are almost sold out. Big companies are there and there is a big interest in, in the show. Uh, because after this long period of pandemic, uh, people want to go back to the to the old uh, to the old habits, people want to meet again, shake hands, touch the products, uh, meet uh, and talking, and uh, that's it. I uh, I can tell you that I visited a couple of machinery shows in Milano last month, and they were a very great success. I guess that it will be the same for Xilexpo in October. Yeah. Well, uh, Dario, will you uh, will you explain for our viewers what are the main topics of this year's exhibition? And uh, the main topics, of course, of Steel Expo 2022 will be digital transformation and sustainability. Topics that are characterized in this, this period, this years. Uh, and we will emphasize, we will underline these two important subjects with the webinars. Webinars before the show, what we have called the Road to Xilexpo Expo 2022. Then with the seminars during the show in the Xilexpo Expo Arena, that is the Congress area within, uh, within the pavilions. And last but not least with the Excel Expo Awards, uh, this year devoted to digital transformation and sustainability. Well, Dario, please, please tell me how you think the visitors will get benefit from the two exhibitions together that's ha happening simultaneously, uh, Zil Expo and uh, BMU. Two different shows, as you told, uh, one big event. This is a slogan and the idea, the idea. The shows are different, uh, but there are many segments of the offer uh, where metalworking 
and woodworking are very close to each other. Uh, let's take dust extraction, the tools, the finishing, just to give you some examples. There are also materials that can be both machining with metalworking or woodworking equipment. And there are traders that are dealing with woodworking machines as well as with metalworking technology. In running the two shows together, uh, I see only benefits, uh, only positive points. Very well. Dario, I would like to uh, take this opportunity uh, to ask you, as the first time ever, Asimol, Zilexpo team and Wooden Panel have decided to launch the first ever digital Zilexpo show daily, of course, in digital version. How would you think this will uh, help exhibitors for the coming edition of Zilexpo? Yes, in cooperation with you, with you, with Wooden Panel, we are going to have our digital show daily, Xilexpo digital show daily. Uh, I like very much uh, uh, this light newsletter that can keep informed the exhibitor as well as the visitors, international visitors, because it is in English, uh, about the show day by day. Uh, let's say that we didn't have this possibility in the past. We never had this, uh, this tool. And I'm happy to propose it in our show this year to complete our range of media, media promotion and so on. And I, I think that for an exhibitor, it is a perfect tool for its advertising campaign during the show. This is also informing and promoting. These are the two words. So right. I'm very happy about this cooperation. Thank you, Dario. My last question would be, what will be your message to the industry? for upcoming Zilexpo 2022? Well, Mesa, yes. Be positive, work always hard, and the results will come. And Xilexpo can be a very effective tool to achieve your goal, whatever you do in woodworking. Thank you so much, Dario, for your time. I can imagine how busy you are still. You manage some time to talk to us, for our viewers. I wish you best of health and good luck for Zilexpo 2022. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you to you. Thank you to everybody. And I wait for you in October in Milan.